Hi, today we're going to talk about the way the turbo works on the Subaru turbo diesel models. Now the turbo on these cars is a lot different to a lot of the other turbos on the Subaru petrol engines and that is it's got a variable geometry turbo or variable vane control. It doesn't have a wastegate and the way Subaru's designed this turbo is the actual air coming into the turbo is changed direction by a variable vane that directs the air to different parts of the compressor wheel to control boost. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this and the why the reason I got this car sitting here with our soot cleaning equipment on it is it is becoming more and more common on these models as they get older and older to have a uh, build up of soot on the variable vanes of the turbo which then causes a turbo boost control problem which then throws a fault code on the car and you think you may have a faulty turbo when in actual fact you do but you actually don't need to replace it to repair it what it needs is to be chemically clean now some people say pull the whole turbo off pull it apart soak it overnight in a chemical to dissolve the soot um, our solution is a lot more thorough and I believe it is a better solution because it's a holistic clean of the engine which also then benefits in cleaning the turbo as well as the inlet manifold the combustion chambers the DPF the diesel particulate filter and then the rest of the exhaust system so this particular car has come um, from down south um, about an hour and a half away two hours with a variable white vane problem on his turbo he's been involved advised by another workshop the turbo needed to be replaced come and contacted us for some technical advice and we said look there's a 70 percent chance we can fix it without the cost of replacing the turbo and here we are so effectively what we do is do a diagnosis to confirm that it has got this problem first which is a specific fault code through the diagnostic scan tool of the engine ECU and then we road test the car to make sure um, it is working or not working in the correct parameters but also we check things such as soot buildup, uh, ash ratio, oil dilution and these are all the things that are common problems or wear and tear problems on Subaru turbo diesel. So what we've then done, and I would encourage you to look at our other videos where we've spoken about this, we pull the intercooler off, which normally sits here, and then we check the pipes. Now, one of the biggest things we check first is the connector pipe between the turbo intercooler, which sits here, and the pipe that goes in the throttle body. Now, at the moment, it's got the soot cleaning equipment um, mounted to the throttle body at the moment, but on a normal Subaru turbo diesel, there's a flexible rubber reinforced hose, that goes, which is a pressure hose, goes from here to the underside of the um, intercooler which is well known to fail. We typically replace it with an aftermarket silicon one that lasts forever. Um, these problems then cause VGT turbo vane problems and DPF problems and stuff like that. So what we don't want to do is go and fix the problem and still have the cause of the problem not repaired. So I want to make sure the car is in mechanical good condition. In this case, the car is okay. Um, it is just historically in the past, it has been used in the city excessively. It hasn't had an opportunity to run its, na its normal course of events to do its own um, passive regen of the DPF. And it has now manifested itself in the VGT turbo pro problem. So we've checked the rest of the car. We've checked all the, uh, the pressure hoses. This one comes from the uh, turbo. Um, I'll get my camera in to get a little bit low, closer. This particular part is hard plastic, um, goes all the way down to the bottom of the turbo underneath the front of the engine, connects to the, this is the high pressure side coming from the turbo to the intercooler, goes through the intercooler, cooled down, goes through the flexible hose into the throttle body and then into the engine. And then out through the turbo, into the DPF and out the exhaust. So the good news is on this particular car, we have saved the customer the replacement cost of his turbo, but at the same time, we've improved the health of the diesel particulate filter at the same time because it had a high soot buildup and the chemicals running through the engine have a cleaning effect inside the engine, which then as they progress through, they then clean all the rest of the parts out. Once it's all finished, we then change the oil because the oil needs to be replaced as part of the process. We do more road testing, we do then a, um, forced regen of the DPF to make sure the DPF is as clean as possible and then do a final critical test on the turbo to make sure the vanes and the boost control is working within spec and at the end of the day we'll have a happy client to deliver this car back. So if you've got a turbo Subaru diesel make sure you check out our other videos make sure you subscribe to this channel to find some really helpful information also about the diesel particulate filter about that hose that we've just spoken about and how Ultimately, at the end of the day, there are 
other ways of saving yourself money instead of just replacing parts without checking them first. And that is the big thing at the end of this video I want to harp on is don't just go and replace the parts without checking the cause of the fault first and making sure there is an alternative because nine times out of 10 there is one. And of course you can contact us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram, send us an email or pick up the phone. Remember we do offer this technically um, from a tuning point of view and a technical support all around our Australia through our other partner workshops. Um, but for today, my name is Brett Middleton. I do hope this video has helped you. Bye for now.